across. This month in my article I talk about some of the not so obvious ways to speed up your work in Photoshop, including the blend if sliders and the content aware technology that's available in Photoshop CS6. And I want to remind you again, my favorite expression is compared to the alternative. So when you're looking at some function and you think, well, that didn't really help me that much. If you think in the terms of compared to how I would have done that manually, this is still a big help. So when we look at things like blend if or content aware, you got to look at it in the context of does it get me closer to my end result. In this video I want to show you two things. First of all, what to do if content aware fill doesn't work so well. If it picks the wrong area, how can we make it work a little better? And also we're going to talk about the patch tool and show you how the new content aware option in Photoshop CS6 is a huge jump forward in speeding up your work. Let's take a look. First of all, let's talk about what to do when content aware fill doesn't work. So I'm going to try to extend this yellow background here by just using content aware fill. So I go to the fill command, use content aware, click OK. And uh, parts of it's OK, but it chose some bad areas. Like it's not that smart that it said maybe I shouldn't use her leg as part of the fill area. And that's one of the problems. So here's a, a simple but effective solution. I'm just going to unlock the background layer. I just option or alt double clicked on it. And in this case, I'm going to actually make a selection of the areas that I'm going to tell content aware fill in effect do not use these areas. So just make a rough selection. Just need to get that last little bit there. And then we add a layer mask. Now, first, it'll mask the wrong way around in this because, of course, what we want to do is hide this part. So if I invert the mask, now I've hidden those areas. So now if I click back on the layer, make my selection again, and once again use content to wear fill. In this case, it can't fill using her leg because there's no leg there because it's hidden. So all I'd have to do is kind of go in and do it maybe in a couple of steps. And I need to get this other side, of course. And then once I'm happy with that, I would throw away the layer mask, delete it, and now I'm ready to continue. Now it's not perfect, of course, but it's still much better results than I got initially with content to wear fill. Now I can just do a little more work to kind of finish it off. And that's that whole idea of compared to the alternative. In this case, the alternative was content to wear fill wasn't doing a very good job. I also want to show you live the patch tool because seeing it in words in a magazine article is all very nice, but seeing it live makes a lot more sense. We've got our photograph and up in the sky here is some electrical tower and I'm just going to make kind of a rough selection and I'm going to try content aware fill let's see what it gives me. It's okay, it's not bad, it still needs a little bit of work, but the other thing is I've been doing this directly on the background layer which really is kind of tempting fate a little bit. So instead one of the advantages of the patch tool there's a couple of them. First of all, you can put the results on a blank layer, which will give you the opportunity to tweak the results a little bit. So that's the first thing that's very important. So let's go to the patch tool. I'm going to have it set to content aware, which is one of the options here. Start off with this thing called adaptation on medium and more, most importantly, use sample all layers. That means put the results on this layer. Now let's scroll down a bit so we can try to see what we've got to work with. All right. So now, I drag to say, why don't you try and use this area here as a patch? And then it goes ahead and tries it and blends it in pretty nicely. I'm going to undo that so I can show you the other thing. Let's try it again. And this time I'm going to go even somewhere that looks like a darker sky. And you can see it still does a really nice job of blending in. But here's the other interesting thing. Normally in Photoshop, you cannot change these tool options once you've used the tool. It won't have an effect, but with this technology, you can. So I had it set adaptation on medium. If I change it to very loose, it will actually redraw. And I kind of like the way that looks better down there. Let's try the other extreme of very strict. That's pretty good too. So the, the advantage of this is that you don't have to make a decision at the beginning and then go, oh, well, that's not quite what I like you can take advantage of this adaptation menu, which just means how closely it's going to follow what you have already there. Now, if I deselect that, that's pretty darn good. But the advantage, again, is it's on a blank layer. So if I needed to, I could either move it around or clone something or continue working on it in a way that's more effective. 
So a lot of people talk about the, some of the new features in Photoshop CS6, but I gotta be honest and say, I use the patch tool with that content aware probably more than any other, just because of the control it gives me. So will this technology help you every time? Will it be perfect every time? No, of course it won't, but we always have to remember, will it help us get closer to the end result and get back to shooting that much more quickly? So when you're looking at trying some technology, if at first you think it didn't really work all that well, think about the alternative, how long it would take you to do it by hand. And I think you'll find functions, these not so obvious functions, will really help you speed up your work. I'm Dave Cross, we'll see you next time.